I've been super upset for the past few months because I've been coming to terms with the idea that the people I tend to be the most dedicated to and the best of friends with are really not worth my time at all. And this is something that has been like a common theme in my life. Like going back to my childhood, it's always been me valuing my relationships a lot, the other person not valuing it the same way, and me feeling upset when it's not reciprocated. I don't know if it's just because I don't have a life or if I'm just genuinely a good person that makes time for other people. I don't even think I'm that great of a person. I just think that that's a part of human decency. I can recall so many different times and so many different people where I've been up till late hours in the morning Because people have been upset over the smallest or the biggest things how I've given up on sleep lunch periods days off dates Even given up time that has been dedicated specifically to my schoolwork I've given that up for other people who needed me in that moment I was halfway done with this script and something perfect just happened that had to do with all of this I was up until four in the morning with somebody that I had never spoken to before because she just so happened to pop up in my newsfeed and she was going through a very emergency situation. I don't think I'll ever speak to her again and I don't expect her to pay me back but I did it anyway. But in general I feel like such an idiot over the way people treat me and I think a lot of it has to do with me giving my time and attention to the wrong people. This emergency situation for example. Like I said there was no previous relationship with the person who I was speaking with. It was complete chance that we happened to come into contact because we just happened to be awake. But when people are consistently in my life I don't mind being the first one to go out of my way to show my true dedication to them, I don't expect to get something in return except for respect. In a friendship, yeah, I do expect if it's a serious enough situation and you don't have to give up a limb for me, that it should be doable in most scenarios to be there for me to some degree. Obviously, we're all busy and we have our own lives, but if I'm able to give up a few minutes to listen to your problems, it shouldn't be a big deal to reciprocate one day. It all depends on the relationship you've established with the person in question. So like you guys, my viewers, I always encourage you to message me if you're having any troubles because I will gladly help you through them. Many, if not most of you, will offer your own assistance to me when I mention that I'm feeling down and that is something that I appreciate so much and I don't expect that from you at all. When you guys message me and you discuss your lives and the things you have going on, I treat you like a client. I do my best to provide you with the strength and the knowledge to get through things and hope that it's all okay in the end. I would never bother any of you with my own problems because that's just how I feel about this relationship and I am perfectly fine with giving my all to all of you and not getting anything in return. I put myself out here for a reason. My problem throughout my entire life has been giving the best friend or family label to the wrong people who end up walking out of my life or decide indirectly that they're not up for this role. I assume that a more intimate relationship has been established when they want me to be there for them and they spill their deepest thoughts only to me and I feel that it's okay to reciprocate. But then suddenly when the stars aren't aligned anymore, convenience fades and other people come along, I wonder why this person doesn't come to me first with their concerns. And I wonder why why it's such a hassle for them to take five minutes to talk with me. You go from their best friend to one of their best friends. At one point you're a daughter, a sister, and then suddenly you're no one. So at the end of the day, how do you know who's worth it? How do you know that this person wants to be in a mutual relationship that is not one-sided? I think an important step is to see how they acknowledge other people. Are they this friendly with everyone? Do they do this with new people in their life? Sometimes people are the greatest at the beginning but change over a span of a few years. It's a risk you're going to to take with every relationship you get into. There will always be a chance that their feelings will change and one day they won't want to put in the same amount of effort that they used to. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Being open with your friend, family member, or your romantic partner about your feelings is a great way to raise awareness in your relationship. If you're going through some personal things and you don't have as much time to talk to your friends, then feel free to let them know that. If they're your friend, they will understand and be there for you knowing that your intentions are not to hurt them or ditch them. And what do you do if it's being done to you? Right now now I'm trying turning people down, starting with the less serious attempts where they only want to see me for self gain or just to fill time. If there was an emergency, then yeah, of course I would want to be there just because that's my natural drive. For the relationships that I want to keep in my life and are emotionally valuable, those I'll work on a bit more than the acquaintances who want me as a time filler or a 24 seven hotline or problem solver. I won't hesitate to cut people out of my life who don't treat me the way that I deserve. Things like thank yous go a long way. And at the same time, it's not bad to have casual friendships. You don't have to expect a lot of emotional connection outside of the fun that you're having together. I think that in my life I've had the most fun with people who I haven't shared my deepest feelings with. It's okay to have friends that you want to have strong emotional ties with and have them there for you through the good and the bad. And it's okay to have friends that you just want to chill with when nothing's going on. Just don't confuse the frequency of hanging out or talking as an indicator of your emotional bond because other people may not see it that way. I'd like to hope that one day I won't be offended by casual relationships and I'll be able to fully appreciate my emotional 
emotional relationships based on devotion and pure friendship. And I think you could do that too. So thank you for watching and I will see you next video. Bye. One last thing, I just wanted to say thank you for 3,000 subscribers. I know that that's not really a big deal, but I just wanted to say thank you. And if you enjoy my videos, don't hesitate to share and spread the love. So thank you and good night.